out here in good old Austin, Texas. Palmer Event Center just right there, and we're going in for the Oddities and Curiosities Expo and to see some of the weird and curious and interesting artifacts and all kinds of different vendors and shows and things that are going on. So let me just quit my talking and let's go inside and see what we can see. All kinds of vendors and booths and everything. Pretty big space, so it's gonna take a little bit to kind of traverse this whole area. So we'll start at one thing at a time. Yeah, starting off pretty quick here. Alligator heads and some Taxidermy, a lot of all kinds of taxidermy too. With the giraffe head, it's not too far away. This stuffed animal taxidermy heads, it's perfect. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And the buffalo head, it's crazy. Are you on YouTube? Yes, I have a YouTube channel. I'll get you a video, just say hi. 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 <laughs> Look, that is crazy. Those are amazing. Look at the horns of that thing. Got a hippopotamus head just right there, and then there's the infamous giraffe head that I saw just as we were walking in. Absolutely amazing. God, you never see anything like that. See those up there? What is it? What is it? Definitely quite a bit of people here. They just opened a few hours ago. That is a Washington license plate. I don't know if anyone lives in, has lived in Washington and verified, but it's you know, or I don't know, has been in prison and particularly made this this plate. Either way. Hey. Hey. Alright. Let's see, we can do a couple more things. Take off the gloves here. So far so good, right? Let's consider the supply chain issues. This is about hundred dollars worth of lumber. Right there. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do just to end things up. Take this small nail. I'm gonna show the fact that it's a real nail. If you in, in between those two, next, you're gonna help me come around, say go all the way around the side there. Go slowly, I'm not sure go that kind of thing. Let's all cheer for Delaney. Thank you, Delaney. Then you expect that nail, make sure that it not doesn't come apart, doesn't you know, recede into itself. If I had to stop, I hit a stud. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do the, uh, the one, two, three thing. You guys ready? You guys ready? This is gonna be great. I got some prop work items over here. Oh yeah. There's two baby heads right there, those things. This is pretty neat. All kinds of art around this event for sure. Tons of art, actually. But look at that. It's like an antique corset. Is that how you say it? Edgar Allan Poe picture right there, too. He's got all kinds of things. They look. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Is that like, is that monogrammed? That's what I thought. All like really, it's like really old clothing. Wow. I read the spread of COVID sign right here. And they have like Hannibal Lecter down there at the bottom saying to wear a mask. <laughs> like the coolest thing ever. And of course back here they have a taxidermy classroom if you want to come learn taxidermy. And they have a Museum of Marvelous Mutations and I see it says world's largest traveling freak show. Still in existence. It's amazing. See the Lamb of Satan versus the Goat of God. Yeah, we just got tickets to it here. Waiting in line, about to go in. It's gonna be, I'm not really sure what we're gonna see, so yeah. we'll see. Talk about what we saw inside the freak show. Oh, yeah. When we first went in, there was a, there was a pit, taxidermy pit bull, and then they showed the skull of a pug, and like the skull is like bent in. You can just see how they have nasal problems and stuff like that. And then they had like various amounts of like two headed calves and uh, goats and things like that. And then they had some like cyclops. Um, oh, yeah, those were the weirdest. Yeah. The cyclops. Yeah, Cyclops goats, and they had a Cyclops calf, and then there was a Cyclops kitten inside of a jar. So they had all kinds of things like that. And then they had a, a couple of animals that had like really intense cleft palates. There was one where the cow's head was like split down the middle. So like, it's like you could see inside its entire like nasal cavities and everything, but it had a mouth that like folded into the split. That was probably the craziest thing in there. And then we saw the Satan goat and the goat of God or whatever that they were Really, really, really tiny heads, but they had uh, just one eyeball, no nose or anything. 
craziest thing. But if you come to this event, that's it's worth the seven dollars. Or if you get the tickets before you come, it's five dollars. Look at a original Chucky doll. At least the older one. This is like a kid's shirt, and it's got a bunch of like severed arms and hands all over it. It's, I've never seen kids' clothing look like that before. And what is this supposed, supposed to be right here? It's like blood streaks or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I found a hidden Mickey at the Oddities Expo right there. Oh, that's cool. It's like fur. Is that fur? Is that real fur? Uh, I don't think so. It looks like it. It's uh, like real monsters in like claymation form or something. That's cool. And then what's this one? Imperial Death Band. Imperial Death Band. I like how death is spelled too. E E T H. It's amazing. Some like antique couch legs or chair legs here, and then a entire suitcase full of the limbs of babies. I found that. Wow. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that one. We got a Darth Vader print and a Maleficent print. I still don't know what the streaks are in the front though. And then we got another Darth Vader print for friends back at home that couldn't come because they're super into Darth Vader now. Oh, I see we have a third. We need one more to come on up. We gotta be brave enough to volunteer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a huge round of applause as we welcome to the stage the strongest men in all of Boston! Strong man number one. Strong man number two. The, the boy. Strong man number three. And the clumsy one. Strong man number four. And now from this lineup, please point out who stole your wallet. This is the <laughs> one. We got you, pal. We got you. So on the count of three, I want you to give me another mic. Like, so jacked. The pose. Here we go. One, two, three. So jacked. Please try not to move them around. I want you all to sit down on a bucket. Alright, gentlemen, you are strong. You are macho. You are manly. But I want you to give yourself a big, strong, macho hug. That's right, hug. Self-love is strong, okay? You gotta take care of you. In a strong, manly way, I want you to be very tough. Lean back into the lap of the man behind you. And now, we will test the strength of these men as they support the weight of each of the other men in the chain. When we remove the bucket! Oh my god. Let's go Skelter shirt here. That is super cool. Then we have some cute dresses here, and then things kind of take a turn. A bunch of uh, serial killers and things. I'm guessing you can recognize a few of them, obviously. Some famous faces there. Can't even imagine wearing that out. That'd be. No, it's for Halloween. Wow. Oh, yeah, Halloween, maybe. Yeah. You can see that. We got another serial killer button up this here, and then right above it, Zodiac symbols for the button up. That's absolutely crazy. That was actually pretty cool. It looks great. And then this one was particularly interesting. It says Tragic Kingdom, and then Magic Kingdom is actually on fire, and there's crosses on top of the castle. So, very reverse. So, kitchen decor here for the horror fan, obviously. So, it's Puss's Magical Mystical Meow Meow Meows, and it, you don't really, you can't really tell exactly what it is I think, until you actually get it out. All right. Alright, open it up. I'm kind of freaked out right now. What is it? Mystical Mystery Meow Meow Body Soap. Body Soap. Ooh. Oh, Meow Meow Body Soap. Yeah, I don't know why I thought there that was going to be smells, like a... That smells really good. I thought there was going to be like a cat fingernail or something in there. I don't know. <laughs> oh 
always hydrate. Total opposite of what I thought was gonna be in there. That is so cute. It's actually so wholesome. So we got some more quarters here. We're gonna see if we get some more hand soap or if it's gonna be another mystery item. There it is. Oh, this looks different. Ooh, another mystery item. Here, hold this. Oh, what God, what is that? Hey, what is that? Is this the thing that you're talking about? Oh, okay, about? now it's starting to turn into what I actually thought. That looks like a vertebrae or something from a back of a cat. <laughs> What's the note say? Mess around and find out. Oh, this, that really turned complete opposite from what the other one was. I was <laughs> no, saying hydrated and gave you some I body soap. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars each, large porcupine puffer fish with little googly eyes on them right there. This is the skulls section of the area. Very obviously labeled here. A lot of various different skulls laid out here. Hedgehog skulls. Gator feet. That's like a popular beach souvenir they have here. And then some pigeons. Some red fox skulls. Coyote skulls right there. Porcupine quills. Those are huge. Those are like the before they're puffed. Puffer fish. All right, then right here, it's a, I believe, what's it would be a real squid tentacle there. And another one just down here, like official labeling for it. Here, it's crazy. There's like a whole squid right here. It's like the entirety of it there. Where? Oh my gosh! Wow! All kinds of squid stuff. Absolutely a ton of it. Say pig there case with a circular sphere. These are teeth. What are these teeth though? Some sort of teeth. Here. Is this a, uh, a wild hog skull? That what that is? Warthog skull? That's what I thought it was. Oh man. That's some like wild taxidermy right there. Or it's a, that's not real. That's not real. No. Is it? Oh gosh. <laughs> As another fish within its mouth there too. Right, the glowing eyes of, I think it's a fox in it. And then the turtle lamp made out of the back of a turtle shell here. Really creative sort of way to use something like that. I would never would have thought of that. Then an otter, I believe. It's oh. very cheap. But then again. Details, like amazing in that. Oh, it's already sold. She's They're coming back to get it. <laughs> He's got a little fish in his mouth too. And there's a taxidermy deer again with the, the running theme in this section where they add some detail inside of the actual deer of what looks like some more skulls having some sort of a dinner or something here. All kinds of little mini things. You got hearts of some kind. They got like a, a rat heart there. A squirrel fetus. A squirrel fetus. Oh my god. So many like little things just for like. For five bucks, you can start to build up your little jar collection here. A pig eye right there. The chicken head. It says chicken and it lost its head there at the top. I got it's a whole bunch of, it's like wasp combs, I believe. We have the Showtime Taxidermy booth over here and it's a bunch of rats and all kinds of acrobatic positions and things here. Let's see if we can get closer to see them. kinds of smaller stuff you can get here if you want to get some bones they have a there's a deer leg there I believe this is all deer bones right here it's like three dollars six dollars yeah, I'm gonna get this nine movie cards one sticker oh and one stick of bubble gum in there too how, how old is this I think it says 1989 it's like all kinds of vintage cards from all kinds of movies it's not just trading cards but like this one yeah it comes with a sticker and a stick of bubble gum too side of there. You got things like Robocop, Hook, Rocketeer, Back to the Future, Casper, Jaws 3D. I mean, there's everything here. Don't see Star Wars anything here. I don't think there's anything Star Wars. That is interesting. Yeah, they have a whole other quarter machine here. Which one did you get? Did you just get out of there? The Crooked Man. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where that's from. This one down here, I like in particular, it's a, uh, the skull of Darth Vader, it looks like. They're like, this one's full of a bunch of like, rando stuff here. Got some more movie and show stickers there too. Oh, what's that one? What is it? Oh, Freddy. Freddy. That one's actually kind of, that one's <laughs> cute. <laughs> Got it. What is that? Is that a rat? I think that's a rat. It's like he's on sort of like a, I don't know what that is, like a little mine train sort of thing there. And then we got another one. He's on a chair rocket of sorts. Only way I can explain it really. And then various amounts of insects here. All 
times. Yeah, it's some sort of bird there. It's a little tiny bird. I'm not sure what these are called here. I don't know the names of most of these insects. I just know that they are insects. And then we have a rat here holding what looks like a camera. And he's got his little beer and stein there, a little snack. And then we have some more of these preserved insects over here and some rats <laughs> walking some beetles. Insects and things. This one's walking a scorpion, more beetles. And then I think here, I think that's actual, that's actual spider there. This is, I like these actually. I, would, I wouldn't mind having one of these. $375 for just that one. And you got the huge Oddities and Curiosities Expo sign just right here. Where you can get all kinds of cool photo ops and things here. One thing I think Adam the Woo would be particularly happy about would be Hitchcock there mm. with his bird. If he was here, he'd be proud. Oh cool, all kinds of prints here too. Oh my gosh. He's here, buy two, get one free. $30 a piece. Edgar Allan Poe there. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Kitty Cat. That's the first one I saw. I like that one. Oh, Beetlejuice. 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 I like that one. What? Tiger King. Oh my god. Here, Kitty Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So there was a Hitchcock one. Yeah, that was the Hitchcock one. That one I like the most out of all of them. Yay! I'm here! <laughs> you gotta point out what a really good view this is. Minus the building in the way of the Palmer Center, but I mean still. A few of these, some of these, some of these buildings, especially the Jenga building there is really good. Alright, let's see. First one. What do we got? More soap, I hope. Kinda feels like it. Feels like it? What is it? Soap. Oh yeah. Kitty cat soap. There we go. First one down. Hopefully it doesn't melt while it sits here. No, it's so hot out It's 100 degree heat. Oh my god. What is that? Second one, we have a little... Magnet. A magnet baby foot. <laughs> oh yeah. The most curious thing. Take a nap. Take a nap. Oh, that's from the first one. Dead mouse is a fine gift. Number three. That was more soap. More soap? For cuddle bites. Those are all handwritten, aren't they? Yeah. All right, the last one. Or soap. Or soap. So it's either soap or a little oddity of a sort, some sort. Yeah, well, that's cool. Well, now, mm, look, you got a bunch really of soap good. that will last here. Happy cat, happy home. So we got four stickers at that booth that we're at, the last booth we're at. Yeah, so we got this Star Wars sticker, these, and there were two for one, I believe. And then we got two Darth Vader stickers here. These are all really cool. These are like ones I don't even know if I even want to use. That is awesome. Oh, and then my Back to the Future movie card, sticker, and bubble gum, and I'm still not sure. I should have asked maybe how old this was. Didn't even think about that. I'm not sure if it's new or made to look old. That concludes the official tour, or my official tour, of the Oddity of the Curiosities Expo. If you like videos like this, give me a like on the video. Hit the sub button. That's always a plus. But hey, that being said, have a good day. A squirrel fetus. A squirrel fetus. Oh my gosh. There's so many like little things just for like, for five bucks, you can start to build up your little jar collection here. A pig eye right there.